The Wagner Ranch is the largest ranch in the United States under one fence. It's 510. 1,572 acres and it spreads into six counties. It's a couple hours northwest of Dallas, Fort Worth. I'd heard that the ranch was for sale and I was out there about 10 years ago and I thought, you know, that they've got a really gr great group of cowboys out there and I thought I'd, I'd want to go out there and just to spend one day documenting them and so I was out there a day and I thought, oh, I've, I've got to come back. So I asked the owners for, for more days and they said, yes, we'd love to, love to help you out and uh, let you do your book. We were out there for five different trips from April through July of 2015. Uh, we ended up shooting a little over 14,000 images and had those narrowed down to 200 that are in the book. This is, to me, this is one of the last largest ranches in the United States that cowboy this way. I mean, there's these 26 cowboys that live out there and they've been out there since 1965, 1973. They're multi-generation cowboys. There's no four-wheelers, it's just their ropes and their horses and they're very traditional and it's just such a fun experience to see how they cowboy and I'm just shocked that this still exists on this this size of scope. We did a bulk of the shooting in July and that's when they do their branding and that was kind of the the first experience I saw where they don't use a calf table and they're out there using their horses and their ropes and I'm just shocked on how quickly they can they can brand 200 calves in, in just a couple of hours. The biggest surprise is uh, they start their breakfast at 5 a.m. And by 5.05, they are done. They're done eating, they're out down to the barn and they're saddling their horses. So the biggest surprise is you don't wanna be late or you'll miss them. So we were sure to get there at 4.45 each day. In the morning, when they go down to the tack barn before the sun comes up, um, there's some real peace to it. And there's not a lot of talking. Um, when they go into the tack room, very they stay in there for about five or 10 minutes and just drink their coffee and very few words are spoken. Um, and then when they come out under the moon to collect their horses for the day, there's very few words. They, they line up in a row. Some of them, I think, say a prayer. Some of them just kind of have a moment of silence. So it's a very surreal uh, scenario. This was one morning, this is Jimbo, and uh, and no one goes out into the field until Jimbo does, and they all follow him in a line. Um, something that I'm really proud about in this book is it's a 100% documentary. None of these photos are set up or recreated. It's exactly as it happened, and I think that's very important. I love the images of their kids that they bring out there in the summer. Um, the kids, they just don't sit in the truck and play video games. They are out there on the horses. They are working hard, and the cowboys are teaching them. And it, it is so fun to watch the relationship of the cowboys with the other kids. Um, it, like one of the guys said, you know, everybody's kids are everybody's kids out here. So I love how they teach the kids and they treat them out there. The images I'm most proud about are the portraits. I'm really, really proud of those. They tell a great story. The Cowboys are a very, very private group and they do not like outsiders. And the first time, even the second time I was out there, they did not like me being out there. They weren't rude, but you could tell they didn't want me out there. And I'd promised the Cowboys that they would get the first box of books. So uh, we took them out there and you know, they don't say much. All of them came and, and, and the owners and, and to see their smile when they first opened the book, to me personally was worth it for the entire, entire project. It was a really, really great experience. WagnerCowboys.com and, and place an order on there and, and, and we'll get it shipped out.